Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Coach Bruce bringing you your church in a minute. I hope that uh, you're having a wonderful day thus far on this Sunday, July the 16th. I want to be talking to you about a subject, born to lead. Now, when you look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27, it says, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, that's the sea kingdom, over the fowl of the air, that's the air kingdom, and over the earth and every uh, creeping thing that creepeth on the earth, that's the earth kingdom. So God has given us leadership over these three kingdoms. So God created man in his own image and in the image of God created he him male and female. Ladies and gentlemen, God has uh, put in you the potential of great leadership. Okay, this is how he designed you. He designed you in his image and in his likeness. Uh, God is king of kings over all the earth and he leads us okay through everything that he does for us and he wants us to be leaders as well the sad thing is most of us will uh be born with this potential but we'll take this potential to the grave why is that because we are born originals, but most of us will die copies. We were born as leaders, but most of us will die as followers. Now, when I say leader, I don't mean leader in the sense of always leading people. You know, um, I'm talking about leading in your gifted area, the area of your skill set, to be the best that you can be at what God has anointed and appointed and designed for you to do, okay? God did not design you to be like me or to be like anyone else, but he designed you to be you. And the best person to be you is you. Hey, let me give you five things that you can get a clear understanding of what leadership is and what leadership is not. Number one, a leader is what the people call you, not what you call yourself. <laughs> a lot of folks like to say that I'm the leader. Like if somebody came into your office and said, well, who's in charge? You know, most of the time we know who the manager is. We know who the owner is. Oh, Bruce, he's the owner. Go see him. If you want to sell something, if you want to provide a service for this company, for this office, go see him because everyone knows who the leader is. He doesn't call himself leader. The people call him leader. Number two, wise leaders just don't give advice. They also live what they give. Now, we have to oftentimes examine our leaders and see if they're living what they're giving. Very important point. Number three, leaders don't demand loyalty. Loyalty is earned. Amen? Leaders don't demand loyalty. Loyalty is earned. How is loyalty earned? It's earned through being on time. It's earned through showing up when you say you want to show up. It's earned through integrity. It's earned through uh, loving people, having compassion for what concerns them. This is how loyalty is earned. Number four, the highest level of government is self-government. <laughs> Can you govern yourself? Can you control yourself? Can you discipline yourself? You know, this is where government starts, self-government. And lastly, great leadership starts with leading yourself. You know, when I see you doing the right thing about yourself, about your family, about your team, then I can consider you a leader because you have already uh, exemplified leadership and leading yourself. 
How disciplined are you in getting in your exercise? How disciplined are you in not being a, a glutton whenever there's food served? How disciplined are you about being on time? How disciplined are you about being consistent? This is true leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. We'll continue our series on Born to Lead.